In the 1990s, state attorneys general launched massive, unprecedented lawsuits against major tobacco companies. The claim was that the tobacco companies had to pay the costs of treating sick smokers. The Tobacco Master Settlement Agreement was signed in November 1998 by 46 state attorneys general and major tobacco companies. Four states reached separate settlement agreements. The deal might have gone down like this. You tobacco companies are crooks and killers, and I'm going to put you out of business. Look, can't we settle this? It'll cost you. How much? Well, with 46 states, how about 300 billion? 46 states? How about 250 billion? You got yourself a deal. Uh, but where am I going to get the money? Well, you raise your prices, and I'll take a big chunk out of every dollar you make. Okay, like that, but you've got to protect us from low-priced competitors. Why not? You make money for me, I'll take care of you. It's a win-win for both of us. But what are you guys going to do with the money? Oh, it'll go for <laughs> six smokers. Unless I can think of something else to do with it. <laughs> I like that. You realize with less competition, higher prices, smokers, our customers are going to get screwed. They're smokers. They deserve to get screwed. But, you know, is it constitutional? Hey, for $250 billion, we can screw the Constitution too. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I think we have ourselves a deal. The tobacco settlement is unconstitutional. Article 1, Section 10 of the U.S. Constitution prohibits states from entering into agreements with one another without Congress's consent. Congress never voted on the 46-state tobacco deal. The tobacco settlement imposed a $246 billion hidden tax on smokers. Only 3 to 6 percent of the settlement money has gone to tobacco control and smoking cessation programs. Happy anniversary, Big Tobacco Deal! <laughs> Since the tobacco settlement was signed, states have taken billions of dollars in settlement money and higher taxes. Most of the money was spent on programs having nothing to do with smoking or health care. For more information, go to CEI.org backslash tobacco.